Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy and in this video I want to show you the differences between closing the window, quitting the app or hiding the app and in which situation it's better to use each one of these techniques because if you are new to a Mac you might not be aware that by clicking the red close button you don't really quit the app, you just close the window. There is actually a big difference between closing an app and quitting an app on the Mac. Let me show you. Here I'm working in the app, in this case it's pages document. I have one window open, so let's say I want to get rid of it. I'm done using this document. Well, there are three main ways how to do that. First, and the way a lot of people do, is to just go up here and click on this red button. You would expect clicking the red button will quit the app. But what this will really do is to just close the window. Because here on top it still says pages. And if you look in the dock, you can easily find out which apps are still running, thanks to this small dot. So if the dot is here, it means that the app is still running in the background. So what can I do with it? Should I quit the app now? Or I can leave it running in the background? Well, first of all, it was always like this on the Mac. So it's really well optimized and it's not gonna slow your Mac if you leave some apps in the background. It's actually useful. For example, I close this window because I'm done working on this document. But what if I want to start another document? I don't need to be opening the app again from the zero, loading it up. I can just select new and continue working in the app. There are only two reasons and situation when I would really prefer to quit the app. The first and obvious one is when I know I'm not gonna use it anymore. I don't want to create any more documents today. I don't need to check my emails anymore. I will not play any music until the end of the day. Then go ahead and quit it. And another reason is if the app is actually doing something in the background. Documents will not do anything, but if you work on videos in Final Cut, they are actually rendering in the background. So it's quite a heavy process. So once I'm done with editing the video, I rather quit the app because it will be slowing down my Mac. Another example of heavy consuming app is Photoshop. And the next one, which might surprise you, is actually Google Chrome. If you use this browser on the Mac, you should consider switching to Safari. I actually made a video about 10 reasons why you should use Safari over Chrome. So if you watch this video, I bet you will switch from Google Chrome to Safari. So these are the reasons why I would quit the app. So let's do it now. You actually have three ways to do it as well. The first and classic one is to go up here in the menu and click on pages and select quit. The second one which offers you here straight away is keyboard shortcut, which is command Q. And one more way to easily quit multiple applications is to simply right click it in the dock and then select quit. There is a third way how to get rid of the app and the windows without actually closing it and it's called hide. The advantages of hiding is that I can go back to that app without any waiting or loading and it will bring it back in the exact state as it was before hiding it. So if I have few windows organized on the desktop, like here two pages document side by side, I can press command H, like hide, it's very simple and intuitive shortcut. And all the windows from the same app will disappear. And once I click on the icon in the dock, it will bring them all back on the exact spot where I left them before. Hiding windows work similar as minimize. If you press this yellow button, the window will go down here on the right side of the dock. But it's taking the space there and I don't like it. It's sticking out and I want to get rid of it. Well, you can actually set the windows to be minimizing under the icon instead of the right side of the dock. To do that, right click this line in the dock to open up dock preferences. Or you can normally open the system preferences by clicking the icon in the dock. But this is the faster way to get directly to the dock and menu bar settings. And here you have the option, minimize windows into application icon. So if I click the yellow button now, it will minimize it into the icon, not on the right side anymore. And the shortcuts command H for hiding and command N to minimize will do pretty much the same now. The difference is that the minimizing works only on an active window, while hiding will get rid of all of the windows from the same app at once. Now let me give you a short conclusion at the end. I have been using computers for a long time, especially Macs, and as much as you think that leaving the apps running in the background will influence your computer, it's not really true. It's not gonna take the memory or the processor usage. On the modern computer, the hidden app 
is kind of paused. Of course it depends on the kind of the app as I told you before, it's not doing anything in the background. But usually I have several apps hidden, working on another one and I very rarely quit the app. As a matter of fact, I would never quit Safari. I always have it on the separate window, if I swipe all the way to the left, I will have Safari window there and I can browse straight away on the internet. Then swipe right and I have a clean window to work on some other stuff and I have never had any performance issues. I want to know your experience with working with multiple windows. You can share it with me and we can discuss it in the comments. I hope that by watching this video you didn't waste your time but you learned something new. So let me know about it by leaving a like and I hope I will see you in the next video.